chatbots are coming a long way from Siri or Alexa and the next generation of artificial intelligence and natural language processing is being created at the University of Alberta. Osmer Zayan, a professor at the U of A and a fellow at Alberta Machine Intelligence Institute, was key in creating one of the newest chatbots, Mira, the mental health virtual assistant. And I spoke with him earlier about it. Oscar, thank you so much for joining us. Can you start by telling me about Mira? Oh, Mira is a, a chatbot um, that uh, is um, well designed to help people find resources about uh, mental health. Um, this was um, commissioned by the Mood Disorder Society of Canada. Uh, because they saw that there is a barrier to access some of this information. People have issues to access information and they approached us to see whether we can build uh, such a chatbot that uh, people, people can talk to and well, they can chat by text or uh, eventually will have also a voice. Uh, but people talk to it and then the, the uh, chatbot uh, detects the uh, intentions or what they what people want and uh, will ask questions about uh, the location where they are or their age or is it for them or for their children or things like that and then we'll direct them to the appropriate resources. I know a lot of people are talking about mental health and people are more open about it and of course having access to resources is so much a part of that. You touched on it a little bit there but how is Mira different than a, like a general mental health resource center, let's say? Well, the number of people that uh, need the, these kinds of resources is, is phenomenal. It's more than we can think. Uh, and, and now with COVID, it's actually getting, it's exacerbated. We have many, many, many people. And often uh, they don't want to admit it. Uh, so on one hand, we don't have enough people to help these in need and on the other hand the, the numbers are growing and we don't know where things are even the specialists sometimes they don't know where all the resources are uh, so uh, a, a chatbot like this is extremely useful to address all these problems particularly when uh, we're talking about depression and there's a stigma attached to depression people don't want to really um, mention it uh, so if you have a chatbot that can uh, take care of you and uh, does it anonymously, so you, they, they don't keep track of who you are, so you feel more confident and uh, reveal some information that uh, will help the chatbot give you the exact resource that you need. The science behind this is something that I don't think I can wrap my head around in this conversation. It's fascinating. Um, who has access to Mira right now? That's a very good question. So uh, the, we are in pilot. Well, we, we are launching the pilot very soon. We are targeting healthcare workers um, because we all know what they're going through with COVID. Um, so that's the pilot. In the second phase, we are targeting uh, first responders like uh, firefighters, the police, uh, it, also veterans. And currently it is in English, but we are also targeting other languages. Um, and uh, currently it is for Alberta and Nova Scotia. So we collected about um, a thousand and plus resources for these two provinces, but we are we're trying to cover the whole uh, country, all provinces. So in second phase, we will we'll, uh, also target the new Canadians and they speak different languages as well as uh, indig in, in indigenous uh, communities. Wow. That's, it's fascinating work that you're doing, and I can't wait to see what is next. Thank you so much for taking the time for us today. I really appreciate it, Osmer. You're very welcome. Hi, world. I'm Gordy.